uh, let's look at this <coughs> interesting question uh, which uh, is a question uh, on algebra okay so let's read the question find all x y and z or z satisfying the, the equations x is equal to y z y is equal to x z and z is equal to x y so you want to find all the values of x and y it satisfies this equation so how do we start so we say okay let x is equal to y z is equation one y is equal to x z is equation two and z is equal to x y is z three so i wanted to think what can we do so this is these are the three equations that are given and we want to find all the values of x y and z so what i'm going to do uh substituting i'm writing in short substituting x is equal to y z which is equation one in equation two so in place of x i'm going to put y z therefore y will become y z times z which implies y is equal to y z squared therefore uh, taking away y z squared from both sides i can write y minus y z squared is equal to zero so what can we factor out now uh, we can factor out i had worked this example out first okay so i know the answers okay so don't waste the time of my students so yeah uh, if you factor out y you get y minus z squared is equal to zero now you can again factorize using difference of two squares so it's y times y minus z times y plus z so if this is equal to zero logically you can understand y has to be zero or z is one or z is minus one there are three options y is zero if you put y is zero you get this uh, the whole thing will become zero when would this become zero when z is one and this would become zero when z is negative one so we have to take now three situations and so now if y is equal to zero what happens if y is equal to zero what happens if if y is equal to zero what can we say if y is zero uh, we know we know x is equal to y z okay so if y is zero you can say that x is zero okay and if x is zero uh, z would also become zero because z is equal to x y okay so this is one condition z is equal to zero so this implies uh, x is equal to zero y is equal to zero and z is equal to zero this is one option that all of them become zero if y is equal to zero that's where we started so this is done so let us look at this if z is equal to one what happens so if z is equal to one okay what do we know okay we know so let me copy and paste this okay copy and hopefully i've copied and i'll paste it here uh, i can uh, okay don't worry so we know x is equal to mm, we know we know x is equal to y z y is equal to cx and c is equal to x y okay that's what we know am i right yeah x is equal to y z and z is equal to x y yeah okay so if x is equal to one what happens uh if x is equal to one uh what happens oh sorry when z is equal to one not x is equal to one that's what we're wondering 
if z is 1, not x is equal to 1, because there are three conditions. You have got y is 0, z is 1. If z is 1, what happens? If you put z in is 1 in this form, you can say x is equal to y. If z is 1, x would be equal to y. And uh, z is 1, or y is equal to x, x is equal to y. And yeah, uh, and we can also say if z is 1, x, y is equal to 1, because you're putting z is equal to 1 in this and this. Okay, so if z is 1, x is equal to y from here, and if z is, z is 1, x, y is equal to 1. Okay, now x, y is equal to 1 when, uh, if z is 1, uh, you can say if uh, x is 1, y would also be 1. If x is 1, y would also be 1, and z is also 1. And uh, if, say, uh, so this is one possibility, so x is 1, y is 1, and z is 1. What happens if x is equal to negative 1? Okay, when x is negative 1, y would be, because negative 1 times negative 1 will give you 1. So y would be also, y would be negative 1, and z is equal to 1. Okay, so this is, this is the two other possibilities. If z is 1, you have two options. x is 1, y is 1, z is 1. Or x is minus 1, y is minus 1, and z is 1. Okay. What happens if z is equal to negative 1? Okay. If z is equal to negative 1, what will happen? If you put z is equal to negative 1, x would be equal to negative y. Okay, x is equal to, this implies x is equal to negative y. x is equal to negative y. And here, <coughs> there's one question that may, you may ask, how did I take 1? Okay, now these are the two uh, conditions that we have. 1 is x is equal to 1. See, the product of two number can be 1 by taking any two reciprocals. Suppose if it's 2 times 1 half will give you 1. But this is also a condition which has to be satisfied. The two numbers that we're taking of x and y, they have to be equal. Okay, So that's why I took if x is 1, y is 1. Okay, So this and this condition is satisfied here when z is equal to 1. Okay, Now if z is equal to negative 1, the, using the same logic, if you put negative 1 here, x would become negative y. And what will happen if z is equal to negative 1, x, y is negative 1. And x, y is... So we have to think of numbers which satisfies both this equation. Okay. So what will happen if this is under this condition, we are talking of under this condition. So if x is, say, 1, y has to be the opposite of this, that is negative 1. z is already negative 1. Or in a, in a different way, the product of these two, x and y, would be negative 1 only when x is 1, y is negative 1. But if x is negative 1, y would become positive 1, and z is already 1. So these are the five conditions, or these are the five possibilities of x, y, and z, if this is the if this is the equation. See you in the next video.